just a routine that she did uh -huh. uh, go to dialysis and then go have lunch or whatever after the fact just a routine day mm -hmm. right. headed to Walmart and she looked over and told my stepdad she was like I'm hot uh -huh. let down the window and before the window even came down she her head fell yeah. over yeah. and she was out of here uh -huh. You see how quick life is. What am I trying to say is this right here. Stop wasting time. It's a waste of time to just show up in here and leave out the same way. It is. It's a waste of time. You could have stayed in the bed if you were going to give God anything. Because you're showing up, they didn't, didn't move him at all. <laughs> you're showing up, didn't move him at all. Because he told the ones over there in the book of Matthew, he said, depart from me, you workers. Did y'all hear that? Yeah. Workers. Yeah, you worked. Yeah, come on. Hallelujah. But you never came into relationship with me. Do you not know that you can go to your job tomorrow and not like what you do, but you still show up? Come on. Yeah, Yeah, yeah. You can go to work tomorrow. It don't mean that you love it. Come on, man. that's right. Don't mean that you want to be there. Come on, come on. Just show up. Come on. Show up and don't put no work in. You come think you're gonna get a check? Come on. Them folks looking at you. I don't care about you showing up, baby. You gotta do something. Come on. Come on. <laughs> so it is with God. Come on, I don't care about you showing up. But I'm going to need you to do something. Because one thing about it, when you've ever been in the presence of God, yeah. you will never leave out the same That's way. Right. That's right. Glory to God. I'm telling y'all, life is so short. Y'all yes. going to get it after a while. Yeah. 
Pastor Mark talked last, last uh, Sunday, I believe it was talking about how God will push you in a place. Oh, yeah. They might need God to push me come in a on, place. Come on. Allow something to happen to one of my children. And then I cry yeah. out, oh, Lord, yeah. here I am now yeah. ready to surrender. Come on. Why and always come before destruction. Yes, I don't know why I always tend to go here, but it's just the truth in the yes, house. Yes, and obviously, it's so needed right now yes. because so many people are just playing church. Come on. So many people just think this is just something to do. Yeah. But it's really not. I'm telling you, being in here don't mean nothing, baby. What you doing when you're at home? Come on. Come on. How you living outside of this place? Yeah. Glory to God. I thank God for the opportunity today as we honor our bishop. Will you give him a hand, please? As we honor our bishop, as we honor our pastors, our deacons, every lay person in this, this room, we do honor you and we celebrate you. To every mother, will y'all give it up for the mamas? Amen. Amen. Give it up for the mamas. Amen. Glory to God. I want to um, just speak to you today. Um, I don't know how the Lord will do this, but however he sees fit. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We go on with it. So Father, we do thank you today thank for this Lord opportunity God. that you yes, have given Lord. me. God, to stand before your people. Yes, Lord. But I don't take it lightly, nor do I take it for granted the things that you have given me opportunity to do. Thank you, Lord. So Father God, we ask you right now as I decrease, I ask that you increase. Yes, Pray, Father God, that your word will go forward with power, boldness, and clarity and understanding. Father God, those that are hearers that they will no longer be hearers, but God, they will be doers of that that will be taught into their hearing today. And so, Father God, we just thank you that this atmosphere is conducive for the word of God to flow. And Father, have thine own way in Jesus' name we do pray. Amen, amen. I want to talk today um, about the characteristics of a godly mother. Come on. Now. Characteristics of a godly mother. Yes. Of course, we can just talk about motherhood. Come on. I mean, we will some, but I want to talk about being a godly mother. Come on. What brought me to this point, um, Pastor uh, Jalen? She was talking about how um, she was sharing with somebody how I had five kids and. Um, and how I was just organized uh, as a mother with five kids. Yeah, yeah. I had to be. Yeah. yeah. I had to be. Um, for those of you who got big families, so you understand, it's a lot of chaos when you got a lot of children. Uh -huh. And you got to have some order. Yeah. And you have to establish some order. Come on. And I thought about it as I was thinking about this. Um, she was talking about just sharing with someone about how um, when they came home from school, that dinner was already prepared. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And even if it wasn't prepared, it was seasoned. The chicken or the meat was already seasoned yeah. in the refrigerator. I already knew what I was going to cook uh -huh. for my family. Yeah. Um, there was no just going in on a... On a I don't know. Yeah. You understand? You had to have some type of organization uh -huh. Uh -huh. with a big family. Yeah. Because a mama, whether you know it or not, she sets the temperature in the home. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, she does. Y'all yeah. never heard that saying, if mama ain't happy, ain't nobody uh -huh. happy. Yeah. Yeah. She does. She does. She sets the temperature in the home. Yeah. So, a uh, motherhood, motherhood, the definition of it is the state or experience of having or raising a child. Uh -huh. Motherhood. Hood stood out to me for some reason and I, and I started thinking about that motherhood. And when I looked up the word hood, of course, you know, a physical right, right. hood uh -huh. on the jacket or right. what have you yeah. is what um, Webster was trying to show me. But when I really, really began to ponder on that thing, I, that hood is a cover. It's a covering, yeah. protection yeah. Yeah. from whatever elements or whatever you may be experiencing outside. You'll put your hood on uh -huh. yeah. to protect, to cover. Yeah. And that's what mother, a mother should be to her children, uh -huh. a protector, yeah. a covering. 
That I'm not just the one to sling a meal across a table. Come on. Glory to God. Or just hold a title. Yeah. But I am there to protect. Come on. Come on. Hallelujah. I've seen uh, birds. It's just an instinct. Uh -huh. Yeah. That should be in us as mothers yeah. to protect that yes. Yes. that we have. Yes. So I want to talk to, um, and I wrote these down. I want to talk to the biological mothers. Uh -huh. I want to talk to the godmothers. Uh -huh. I want to talk to the grandmothers. I want to talk to the foster mothers. Uh -huh. I want to talk to the expecting mothers. Uh -huh. I want to talk to talk to the adoptive mothers. Uh -huh. I want to talk to the stepmothers, uh -huh. and I want to talk to the the waiting miracle mothers. Those mothers, yeah, because yeah, yeah. it's already in you to be one. Hallelujah! But you're waiting on your miracle yeah. to arrive. I want to talk to you today. Yes, I want us to go to the book of Proverbs, chapter thirty-one. Book of Proverbs 31, yes. because y'all know, listen, <laughs> she didn't play no games. That's right. Okay. 31, and I want to start at verse 10. 31 and 10, and I'm reading out of the Amplified uh, Bible. Amen. And it reads, a, an excellent woman, mm. one who is spiritual, Come on. Mm, capable intelligent and virtuous who is he who can find her her value is more precious than jewels and her worth is far above rubies or pearls i want to stop i want to stop right there because the bible calls her an excellent woman uh -huh. one who is spiritual yeah, yeah. one who is intelligent uh -huh. One who is capable, one who is virtuous. Come on. The Bible says, obviously, she's rare because who Come can on. find Come such on a woman? Yeah. I got, I got. This is the this is the place all of us should be striving to be. Yeah. Excellent. Mature. Yes. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thermostat. Setting the tone for our families. That's right. Putting something in our children. Come on. Come on now. Yeah. Putting something in our children. Uh, the Bible says that her heart, the heart of her husband, what? Trust. Trust, trust in her. Come on. Trust. Trust in her. Yeah. Not talking about old fly by night. Come on. Hallelujah. And look at here. With secure confidence. confidence. Yes. Talking about that soft place that my husband can lay in. Uh-huh. Not I'm always, you know. Everything he bring me has got to be an argument. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Sometimes we just need to hear one another out. Come on. Come on. Sometimes he don't need you to say nothing, but just yeah. listen. Yeah. And he will have no lack of gain. Verse 12 says, she comforts, look, encourages, and does him only good and not evil. And not evil. All the days of her life. Look, she looks for wool and flax and works with willing hands in delight, meaning it's a pleasure to work for her family. Come on. Come oh, God. Good. Good. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, Lord Jesus. Y'all might have quite in here, but I must be stopping. It's not grievous. Yeah, yeah. This thing called motherhood is not grievous. Mm, 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 mm. That God has put something in us. Yes, Lord. He's already equipped us. Yes, He's already made us ready to do what is necessary for our family. Right. This right. virtuous woman, this excellent woman, she uh, says in verse 14, she is like the merchant ships abounding. With Look at him. Yeah. With treasure. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! She got so much treasure on the inside of her. She got so much to give. Yes, Lord. Yes, she Lord. brings her household's food from far, from far away. Yeah. She don't mind getting out there making something happen. Yes. She arises while also while it is still night. <laughs> 
When I got to thinking about that, because up here in that top verse, in verse 10, it was talking about that she is spiritual. Come on. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. That when God calls me and tells me to get up to pray, Come on. that I, I don't mind getting up in the night. Come on. Hallelujah. I don't, I don't mind getting up in the night to go check the temperature. Come on. Come on. I don't mind getting up in the night to do what I have to do for my children. Yeah. Hallelujah. Being a real mama. Come on. And gives food to her household yes, yes. and assigns tasks to her maids. Yeah. She was rich too. Yeah. She had plenty of money. Uh -huh. Check this out. I was talking to a guy the other day, and it, it, it just it, it amazes me. I was talking to a guy, and he was talking about, I was asking him what was he doing um, for his wife for Mother's Day, and he said that he was going to cook her a good meal. And, his son was standing next to him and he said, yeah, my dad does all the cooking. Um, and I said, really? Now, nothing's wrong with that. Right. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Because, baby, I, I'm here anyway. Right. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with it. I don't want to be one who I'm cooking. Right. Ain't nothing wrong with it. But he said, yeah, he said, my wife, you know, she was raised kind of spoiled. That, uh, yeah, he said, uh, she, she, she didn't have to do no cooking or anything. Uh, you know, her mom did all the cooking in the household. Yeah. He said, but I'm from a family of seven. He said, if we didn't cook, we didn't eat because mom and daddy had to work right. to take care of us. Yeah. And so he said, that's how I learned how to cook. Uh -huh. He said, and guess what? He said, all of my brothers, they do all the cooking. Their wives do no cooking either. Wow. And I was like, wow. It just amazes me this time that we're in yeah. that women don't know how to cook. Yeah. <laughs> I hate this is the cat. I you. <laughs> it amazes me. Now don't don't get offended if this is you in the room. I'm just talking. I'm just talking. It just amazes me. It's it's like different, you know? Like you normally like women normally know how to do something. You know. Lord of God. One, one, one lady said. One lady said, well, I, I do, I do cook breakfast, I do not cook breakfast, you, I, that's good. Wow. That's good, at least you know how to cook a breakfast meal. Wow. But it was amazing to me to see that yeah. he did all the cooking in the house and she did nothing. Uh -huh. And he said that she, he, so this man, I mean, he works out in the, in the heat. He works out in the heat. And I was telling the bishop, I said, imagine that. I said, he had to work out of his heat all day long and then turn around and have to go home and cook. Wow. What a man. That's all to you. Wow. Let, let me move. <laughs> Verse 16. She considers a field before she buys or accepts it. She was a businesswoman. She expect, expanding her business prudently with her profit. She plants fruitful vines in her vineyard. I want to ask you this this morning. What are you planting, mothers? Come on, come on. Yeah. And I'm not talking about no flowers. What kind of seeds are you putting in your children? One thing, I, as I was really studying this, I really got to think about my mama. One thing I can honestly say about my mama, yeah. my mama instilled godliness on the inside of me. That's right. That's right. She instilled that in me. I'm telling you, that's why the Bible said, train up a child in the way they should go, and when they get old, they will not depart from it. Come on. Come on. They will not depart from it. I'm telling you, we didn't have men coming in and out of our house. Yeah. I, I'm telling you, my mama was no drinker. She was no smoker. Yeah. She was none of those things. She lived a godly life. She was that example yeah. of what a godly mama should be. Yes. Yes. My mama didn't stay in our business. Yeah. She told us things and made us make our decisions. Now, it's going to be up to you what you do with the information. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Come on. I'm telling y'all. Yeah. We got to learn how to let go to mothers. We really do. We really do. Mamas, especially with our boys. Because my boys love 
their mama. Uh, they do. Yeah. But we got to know how to let them go. Yeah. That's good. We got to know how to let them go. Yeah. And so instilling what you need to instill in them. Yeah. And then, and then releasing them. It's just like that mama bird. Yeah. Yeah. That you're going to stay in the nest. Uh -huh. Until I know you're ready to fly on your own. Right. Right. And after that, you got to let them go. Yeah. You right. got to let them go. You instilled what you need to put in them. Now it's time to let them go and fly. Right. You go on and be great. Glory to God. Yeah. Because if you ain't putting nothing in them, then I can understand why. No, you ain't ready to go out there. I can understand. Yeah. I can understand. Yes. But you gotta train them up while they're young. You can't wait till they get 10 and 12, 11, 12 years old. That's right. That's right. Some mama's trying to steal something in on that 20. Uh -huh. It's too late. It is too late. This stuff happens while they are young. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. And I'm telling y'all, we got to have this mindset of doing better, raising our children, especially our young black children. Yes, yes. And I'm going to tell them to say this, and I'm moving. But we're talking about this uh, 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 police brutality and white on black crime, this stuff. But what about the black on black crime? What about us killing each other? Can we talk about that? We don't know how. How in the world people out there gonna have any respect for us when we don't have respect for one another? And this stuff starts at the house. It starts at the house. I'm sorry, it starts at home. And I'm gonna tell y'all something. A lot of men say, well, I didn't have no role model. I didn't have, it's, baby, listen. It's too many God daddies out here. It's too many people, uncles. Somebody that can help you, that you've seen their life and can help you. All you have to do is ask. Yeah. It's a choice. And I know men don't like asking. Yeah. Men don't want to seem vulnerable. Yeah. They want to feel like they got it all together. Yeah. They don't want to ask for help. It's the same way for men with direction. Baby, just stop and ask somebody. Oh, I know where I'm going. Yeah. <laughs> you know you know where you're going. Yeah. I'm not talking about you, Bishop. I'm not talking about you. I'm just saying. I'm just talking about me. You understand? <laughs> Go with Lowe's. Baby, you know what the notes, the, 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 the boats you looking for? Yeah, I think they down here. We done walked down 12 hours. Baby, get you. How many, how many, how many of these here are, are, are associates you passed by? Baby, I'm quick. I go like this. Excuse me. Can you show us where the boats are? Come on. Come on. If you can find somebody, go. Come on. Come on. Stop. Just stop. Just stop. Just stop. Just stop. Seriously. Ask for help. Yes. Don't worry. Anyway, let me move before I get in trouble. She sees that her gain is good. Her lamp does not go out. Look, 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 look. But it burns continually. Her spiritual life never goes out. Oh, come on. 17. Oh, she equips herself. 17. Let's go to 17. She equips herself. She equips herself. She equips herself. She ain't waiting on no man. She equips herself. You ain't got to tell me I'm beautiful. She equips herself. You ain't got to tell me I got it going on. She equips herself. I'm going to say this right here. I got the move. Y'all know I'm crazy. Listen, so DK is going to tell me coming in. Tell me, I need to take your temperature. I need to take your temperature. I, I said I've already had my temperature taken, sir. He was playing. Because they were over there making the top and joke. He and Bishop. And, uh, and so I just told him, I said, baby, I don't need my tip because when, when, no matter what time you, you take it, read it, or whatever, it's always going to be hot. Because she stays hot. That's literally. <laughs> she equips herself with strength, spiritual, mental, and physical fitness. I'm serious. 
still working on that one. For her God given task. Her for her God given task, her assignment to take care of her home. She equips herself with strength, mother. Do you not know you gotta have some strength, baby, to take care of some children? Especially when you got five different personalities. Baby, you gotta have some strength. And makes her arms strong. Come on, lady. She sees that her game is good. Her lamp does not go out, but it burns continually through the night. She is prepared oh, for whatever. For whatever. Lies ahead. You can only be prepared if you are a spiritual mother. Because I'm going to tell you something, when you connect it to the spirit, hallelujah, the Holy Spirit will let you see things that your children won't even tell you. It's a thing right now the Holy Spirit has shown me concerning my children. They don't even know I know. The Holy Spirit has shown it to me and all I do is pray for them. See, they think they be fooling me. You can't fool a mama who's connected to the Spirit. Come on here. She is prepared and she is prepared through the Spirit. Because we can never be prepared on our own. Because the Bible said in this flesh dwells no good thing. And a lot of us, we so fleshly, children going to hell in the handbasket. But you're so caught up, you don't even see what's going on in your house. She stretches out her hands to the distaff in her hands. Hold the spindle as she spins wool. This woman works, baby. Into thread for her clothing. She opens and extends her hand to the poor. And she reaches out her filled hands to the needy. Come on here. She does not fear the snow for her household. For all in her household are clothed in expensive scarlet. And I, I want to stop right there. It ain't about buying your kids the best of right, shoes right, and all this name brand stuff. Right. But baby, when you can when you can instill in them godly yeah. principles. Yeah. Hallelujah. That's that's expensive. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Things that they'll never forget. It's things right now that my mama has instilled in me that I will never forget. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Yes, Lord. That's expensive. Uh -huh. that's Hallelujah. That's precious. Yes, Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. These kids, honey, them shoes will fly by night. Come on now. Come on. They'll fly by night trying to buy them the best of everything. Glory to God, and they out there in the street. Come on, come on. It, it, I'm telling you, you ain't putting nothing in them, y'all. Yeah, yeah, come on now. Her husband is known in the city gates. When he sits among the elders of the land, she makes fine linen garments and sells them and supplies sashes to the merchants. This woman got multiple strings of oh, income. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Strength and dignity are her clothing and her portion is strong and secure. And she smiles at the future. <laughs> knowing that she and her family mm. Let's look at it. And y'all finish that when you get home. Let's look at Genesis chapter 3 and 20. The man called his wife's name Eve. Talk about Adam. Because she was the mother of all living. Uh -huh. The mother of all living. We as mothers should be bringing life yes. into our homes, life, into our children, yes. life, yes. into everything that we have been asked to do. We should yes. be bringing life yes. to it. Hallelujah. Life to it. Yes, Lord. Life to it. Life to your husband. Yes, Lord. Life. Glory to God. Because when, when you as a mother, a godly mother, yeah. when you as a godly mother, when you come in the room, I don't care what the issues are in the house, you should be able to set the resolve. Yes, you should be able to go in the spirit and walk for your household. Yes, Lord. 
Hallelujah. But that's confusion in the house. Don't you be the one that's causing it. Hallelujah. When that's confusion amongst your children, you should be the one that's able to come in with godly wisdom. Yeah. Yeah. And to be able to instruct your children yeah. how to love one another and move. Now, I'm going to tell y'all something. That was a valuable lesson right there yeah. that mama taught me. She said, you will not fight one another. Come on, come on. She meant that thing. Yeah. You will not fight one another. You will love one another. You will encourage one another. You will support one another. Yeah. And I have instilled that same godly principle in our children. We ain't no dissension in our family. Ain't no fighting up in him. Hallelujah. When we all come together at the dinner table, we all good. We ain't got to pretend like we like each other. That's right. That's right. That's right. Y'all know every family ain't like that, though. Uh -huh. Every family's not like that. That's so true. All right. So, 1 Corinthians. No, 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 no. Deuteronomy 6 and 4. Let's go there. Deuteronomy 6 and 4. And I want that in the amp, too. Glory to God. It says, Hear, O Israel, the Lord is our God. The Lord is one, the only God. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and mind and with all your soul and with all your strength, your entire being. These words which I am commanding you today shall be written on your heart and mind. You shall teach them diligently to your children. Impressing, impressing God's precepts on their minds and penetrating their hearts with his truths. And you and shall speak of them when you sit in your house. And when you walk on the road. And when you lie down. And when you get up. Do y'all see this? What is this? What is this? What is this really saying? That we shall always yeah, yeah. be instilling and impressing uh, God's principles uh -huh. upon our children's right. hearts and minds. Right. Yeah. Always. Yeah. 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 Always. Come on. So true. So true. Not just on Sunday, when you feel good. Yeah. Right. Yes. But you should be their greatest teacher, not the pastor. Uh -huh. You should be teaching them. And when they come in here, they, they, they should know how to operate in the house of God because it's already been taught at the house. The Bible said, children starts well at home, then it spreads abroad. Come on. Come on. I just told a bitch the other day. I said, I refuse, like Paul said, to get everybody else saved and then my, my house going to hell. The devil is a lot. The devil is a lot. You're working on your children, getting your prayer for your children. Glory to God. I'm, I'm, I'm putting everything in your children. I ain't putting nothing in mine. Come on. Come on. Yes, Lord. Your children good. My children are going to hell. Yeah. Come on now. Not so. Come on. Just as much effort as I put in prayer for your children, I got to put just as much or more yeah. for mine. Yeah. That's right. That's right. It's the truth. Yes, Lord. So it says, when you sit in your house and when you walk on the road and when you lie down and when you get up and you shall bind them as a sign on your hand, forearm, and they shall be used as bands, frontals, frontlets on your forehead. You shall write them on the doorposts of your house and your gates. Everybody should know that in this house we serve the Lord. There's no ands, ifs, or buts about it. In this house, we're going to serve the Lord. Hear you. Hallelujah. 1 Corinthians 13 uh, and 4. 1 Corinthians 13 and 4. Come on. Thank you, Jesus. All right. And it says, love endures with patience and serenity. Love is kind and thoughtful and is not jealous or envious. Love does not brag, uh-oh, and is not proud or arrogant. It is not rude. 
It is not self-seeking. One thing about being a mama, you most time we on the back burners. I was just sharing that with uh with my daughter uh, Mo the other day. I was I was sharing that with her. As your kids be, be, become older, they're they're now more self sufficient, you know. Then you can start to kind of do a little bit more. Yeah. Just a little bit more. But when your kids are at home, it's not about you no more. Come on, come on. It's not. It's not about you no more. Yeah. Your full sole responsibility is to take care of your children. Yes, yes. I think it was you, babe, one of you that said was telling uh, one of the kids. You said as as they were growing up, it wasn't about me, what I desired. It was about making sure y'all had. Yeah, exactly. I had to put everything that I desired uh, to the side. We had a whole family, a whole troop. Yeah. That we had to make sure was good. That's right. We did, and it wasn't about us. Come on. You know, I go out there and buy myself the best and my children got on Dollar General okay, shoes. The devil lives a lot. What am I saying with that? I'm saying that they come before me. Yeah. I'm not gonna look better than my children. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not gonna go out there and make sure I'm, you know, got the best of the best, and then my children have less. That's no. right. If, if I can't if I can't get them, then we ain't none of us. We, we just gonna do what we do. Absolutely. But there's so many mothers, they don't care. They dress to the nines. Their kids look raggedy. Don't care. And I'm gonna say this too. Every mother, we talk about motherhood, but I think every mother need a little bit of hood in them. Just a we talking about a godly, a godly mother, a godly mother, but you, but you, just need just a, just a, just a little bit of hood, because see, I'm like that mother bird, don't come for me. Yeah. I play about a lot of things. But my husband and my children. And not my grandbabies. Yeah. I play by a lot of things. Yes, I do. And I can take a lot. But when it comes to them, they might be like, what else? Take them out. my earrings out. You know, they say when a black woman starts taking off her earrings, it's going down. <laughs> All right, so let me finish so I don't want to bore y'all. Love bears all things, regardless of what comes. Love bears all things. All things. All things, regardless of what comes. Regardless if your children doing well or not, a mother still going to love their children. I'm telling you, you still go, I don't like what you're doing. But it don't change the fact that I love you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, but that's a scar. You can relate with yeah. me, can't you? Yeah. yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Yo, but look. She, this is a. This, no. Look at this picture. Yes, ma'am. As I look to my right over here, look at this picture. She got all her babies. She got all her babies lined up, sitting where? Right next to her. Y'all see this picture? She got five babies. Five babies right there. Right there, right there. Where they at? In the house of the Lord. See, she can easily leave at the house. Or just bring one or two. Because it's just so much this time of morning to get five children ready. Imagine you by yourself running late. Imagine you got to get up and get five children ready. But see, that's persistence. Uh, see, that, ooh, see what I'm saying is that's because she wanna do it. See, she's not making excuses. See, she's doing that that she know she needs to do. She knows this is how she's supposed to raise her babies in the house. Lord, look at that picture right there. Love bears all things, regardless of what comes. Believe all things. Looking for the best in each one. Mothers, aren't you looking for the best in each one of your children? I'm 
looking for the best. I want my children to go so much further yes. than I have ever gone yes. or we have ever gone. Yes. Don't you want that for your children? Yes. Well, put something in them. Put something in them. My mama, that's another thing. My mama uh, wouldn't let us lay in the bed. Come on. Yeah. I don't feel like going to church this morning. Get your behind up. And guess what I did tonight? The same thing. It showed what? Then you said, Ma, oh, Ma, can we just sleep in my. No, get up. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. We're going to church. Yes. Hallelujah. You don't tell me. I don't understand that either. I don't understand that. How should I tell you? Come on. Cheer me. Come on. Children that you still clothing, uh -huh. you still feeding, right. you still paying the bills and they land in your bed. Come on. I'm going to say that for another day. Come on. Come on. Yes, Lord. All right. Hopes out things. Remaining steadfast during difficult times. And I'm not a fly by night, mama. Mm -hmm. That baby, are we in this thing together? Yeah. We're going to ride it out together. Come on. Glory to God. Even in difficult times, endure all things without weakening. We got too many weak mamas. Come on. Oh, yeah. Too many weak mamas. Come on, you got to get baby. You come on. Just like we always talk about these men, we don't like jelly backs. Come on. Come on. Come on. I don't like no jelly back baby. Come on. Say <laughs> move, 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 move. Move. Love never fails. It, it never, it never fades, no ends. But as for prophecies, they will pass away as tongues, they will cease. All these other things, but love won't cease. Love ain't gonna cease. Love ain't going nowhere. Hallelujah. Because God has an unfailing love toward us. No matter what we do, no matter how far we go. What I love about him, he said, even though you leave me back, slider, I ain't leaving you. I'm gonna stay married to you, even though you want to divorce me. Hallelujah. That's what I told Bishop. I ain't going nowhere, baby. Oh, you going to the other room? I'm going to. Oh, you want to leave? I'm going with you. Yeah, yeah, I know we ain't had that in a long time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you ain't going to say that. <laughs> All right. Let me just give y'all some characteristics of the God the mother real quick, and I'm going to let y'all go. She serves her family well, uh -huh. going hard inside and outside the home. Yes. She proactively cares for her home. Let's talk about that. Let's, yeah. Yeah. let's talk about that. Yeah. Not to be made to take care of your home. Yeah. Proactively taking care of your home. Yeah. Mamas, come on, come on, mamas, come on, come on, mamas, come on, mamas, come on. Working mamas, come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Stay at home, mamas. Yeah. Come on, we gotta do better. Come on. Clean your house up. Come on. Come on. Come on. Stop making excuses. Yes. Yeah. Okay. That's good. Well, word. You know, it is no excuse. Come on. I had five of them, baby, working. Come on. Yeah. Ain't no excuse. That's right. Yeah. Come on, clean up. That's right. Get the clothes washed. Come on. Got clothes piled up. This high on the soap that you got can't find no socks. Just, just smile. If they're on top of you, just smile. Nobody ever know I'm talking to you. It's just ridiculous. Children have showers, um, towels in the bathroom floor, underwear, socks, wet. Just nasty. That's so good. There's some dishes in the sink. Got the whole house stinking. Trash running over. Somebody ring the doorbell. You shh. <laughs> Y'all ridiculous. Don't be offended if I'm talking to you. I ain't been to none of your house. See, y'all don't invite me over. Maybe some reason that bitch will get invited. 
Don't nobody invite us over there. Nobody! Y'all not throw that plug in there. Oh, okay. For real though, what's the, what's the problem? Why y'all invite us over there? We'll talk about that in church. But, like, seriously, and y'all got kids at the house, why is trash running over? What are y'all instilling these children? What? Let me tell y'all something. When my kids, you listen, you, I don't care, school money, you get your tail up, your bed gonna be made, I want your bed clean now. Yeah. We didn't just make beds up on the weekend. You mean to tell me I got to come home to a net bed all that made out doing how the devil is alive? No. Beds made up every morning before you leave that house. I still at a nine. The devil is alive. I still make my bed every morning. Some people just make their bed on the weekend. If I'm talking to you, just look straight ahead. I, I don't know. I ain't been to your house. I'm just talking. But some people just make their bed on the weekend. That's your bed. That's your house. You do what you want to do. I'm just saying about my house. Right. We got to make sure that this I don't like coming home. So it's Jack in. And the sheets all wrinkled. Who's going to cry in that? Not me. Yeah, I got this place to it up. Your daughter told me you and I are a lot of like the cleanliness. All right, so can you invite me to dinner next week? All right. She teaches her children the ways of God by her sharing of the word and living out the word. She seeks knowledge always on how to be better. I'm talking about the characteristics of a godly mother. She submits to her husband. Yes, yes. Um, Pastor Jay said yes, yes. Everything else got quiet. Mothers are always nurturers. Yeah. Yeah. A godly mother prays and she reads the word of God. Yeah. A godly mother is always generous, always forgiving, yeah. always persistent, yeah. always, and always encouraging, always loving unconditionally. Yeah. Paul told us over there in 1 in, uh, in Timothy uh, chapter 1 and 5, he said, For I am mindful, Paul told Timothy, he said, for I am mindful of the sincere faith within you, which first dwelled in your grandmother Lois and your mother Eunice. And I am sure that it is in you as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That even Timothy had a praying grandma and a praying mama yes. that put something on the inside of him. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Tell me y'all. They might be cute now, but as these children grow up, and you let life teach them and the streets teach them, it's not going to be pretty. I'm telling you, whatever you put in your children, they won't forget it. The Bible says even though they may try to stray from it, they're going to always come back to that, to the godly principles that you have instilled in them. Father, we thank you today. Thank you, Lord. We thank you for the word of God. Thank we thank you, Lord. Father God, that these mothers in this room, Father God, have heard the word. Yes, Father God, that they have received from the word. Yes, Father, we pray today that you will help us to be better. Yes, God. Teach us a better way, oh Heavenly Father. Even those that may be our course right now, Father, we pray this morning that you will help them to get back on track. Yes, Father God, that they can be that godly mother, Father God, that's so needed, so yes, desperately God. needed. Yes, God. Hallelujah in the households today. Yes, God. Father, we pray today, God, that you would encourage their hearts. Yes. For those, Father God, who may be heavy in heart, who have lost their mind. Yes, Father, we pray that you give them strength today. Yes, God. We pray, Father God, that you take the way out of it, yes, Father God, God, in the name of Jesus. Yes, Father God, you say that you are a burden bearer and a heavy load sharer. Yes. Father, we pray today, God, that you will help every mother in this room. Yes. No matter uh, which mother they uh, category they may fall under, God help them today. Yes, God. God, you said sometimes it takes a village. Yes. You didn't say that, but sometimes it takes a village. Yes, God. Father God to raise ch our children. And so, Father God, even those mothers who are struggling, Father yes, God, we pray, God, that you will surround them with people that can help them. Yes, God. Help them with their children, Father God, to encourage them and to strengthen them in the name of Jesus. And we just thank you today. Thank you.
God, we pray, God, that today will be an amazing day. Yes, God. Father God, that our mothers, Father God, will be celebrated today and loved on yes. by their families today. And Father, we just give your name all the glory, yes, God. honor, and praise in this room. We do pray. Amen. 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 Amen.